Maybe you kind of look this way. All right. So the first thing you always try is direct substitution. All right. So sometimes it doesn't work, but give it a look. Because at, at a minimum, it's going to give you the recipe of what, what your next step in the process is going to be. All right. So 4 plus 3 times 7 over 7 minus 7. All right. So we get a 0 on the bottom. It's just a question of whether this is going to be undefined or indeterminate. All right. If it's undefined, we go to the calculator. If it's indeterminate, it means we could do algebra. So 5 minus the square root of 25 over zero. So we get zero over zero. All right. So that, you know, it's a, it's a double-edged sword because it, it, it's telling us that you can do something here. Maybe that's not what you were hoping for. Because if you can do something, that kind of means that you should do that something. All right. So let's try doing something. All right. I see a radical a radical binomial in my limit. So let me rewrite the limit. X approaches seven. Five minus the square root of four plus three X over seven minus X. I can multiply the top and bottom of this fraction by an expression that's gonna help me simplify this down. And it has everything to do with that radical binomial. What do you think I might want to multiply top and bottom by? Radical 4 plus 3x. That's part of it. Like the opposite of something. The opposite thingy, majiggy. What, what would that expression be? 5 plus. 5 plus. All right, so what we got from this is we don't actually need to know the name of the thing that we need to multiply. We just need to have a sense of what that thing is. All right. Now, does anybody, just for giggles, happen to know the name of that thing? Conjugate. Oh, conjugate. Yeah. All right. And it's funny how, uh, how these things kind of work out. I was covering Miss Marshner's class last period, and uh, it's Algebra 2. And you know what they were going over in that class, right? Conjugates. It, it's just, it always works out that way. You know, like the timing of things. So on the top, I can distribute it out. On the bottom, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it alone. So the distributive property, when you're dealing with conjugates, you're, you're creating a difference of two squares. So I'm not going to go through too much trouble here because I know that the outer and inner terms are going to cancel out because I'll have a 5 times the radical 4 plus 3x, and then I'll have a negative 5 times radical 4 plus 3x. So those are gone. So I just have to multiply the first terms, so 25, and the last terms, so negative parentheses, 4 plus 3x. On the bottom, 7 minus x multiplied by the beefy radical binomial. Beef. All right. Now, it's always darkest before the dawn. Here we are. You look at this and say, well, what did, what did that accomplish? All right. Um, so far, the answer might seem like not much at all. But let's clean it up a little bit. You're like, I must have done it wrong. To simplify, you get 21 minus 3x on top. Bottom is still the same. It sure will. All right. And instead of writing a whole new line, I'm just going to take this and just kind of off on the side write. Oh, oh, the three is what I want to take out. Three. Come on. Register. Let's go. There it is. 7 minus x, and then cancel, limit, as x approaches a nice good looking 7 there, 3 over, 
all that business. I have to change the sensitivity on the, the stylus. Now, I can at least try to pop in the seven again. I know I'm not gonna get a zero on the top, right? So it's a clean three, there's no variable there. So worst case scenario, I'll get undefined, in which case I go to the calculator. I'll be a little aggravated that I did all this algebra for nothing, but at least I'll have a plan As soon as I get my pen to work. All right, so five. Well, we already know what it's, what's going to happen when I plug in the seven because we did that earlier, essentially, but my pen is not cooperating. Five plus the square root of 25. So five plus five is 10, so three tenths. Now, just a reminder, 